October is the month where the weather cools down and the transition from a summer garden to a fall garden is in effect. Let's look at the California garden in the month of October. We will begin with the garden tour and then move on to the harvest that we made this month. We will look at what's growing in the garden this month and then we'll look at things to do in your garden. So let's begin with the tour of the garden. This month we are preparing our garden for the next growing season and let's look at our beds. We harvested all the okra that was growing in this bed. It had become too cool for the okra plants to grow. And we are now transitioning into our fall vegetables and winter vegetables like onions which have been sowed here. And our tomatoes are giving us our final few tomatoes. And moving on to our next bed we have the sweet potatoes growing that's also in a transition phase. And the amaranth, we have begun to harvest the entire amaranth plants now. It's been a while and now this bed needs to give way for the winter vegetables. The same thing with the peppers and eggplants, the production is now very low. So we will be removing some of these plants as and when needed to make space for the winter vegetables. Let's look at some of the harvest that we made this month. Guavas. We harvested a lot of Arabian guavas and this is a tall plant. So I needed some kind of a fruit picker that you can see in the photo here. This is a very useful fruit picker. Basically you just go to the fruit and then just pluck it off of the tree and it comes down very safely. We also harvested a lot of Mexican guavas. They are very delicious guavas as well. And more fruits. We harvested a lot of pomegranates. The harvest season for pomegranates is from October through December. And the fruits already started breaking up like you can see here. Very delicious pomegranates. Very good tasting as well as very good for your health. And once the fruits start opening a little bit, that's a good time to harvest your pomegranates. As you can see here, you can see that small crack in the surface of the fruit. That's when the pomegranates are ripe, ready and delicious. And that's why homegrown pomegranates taste so nice. You can wait for the ideal time to harvest your pomegranates. And that way you get the best pomegranates that you can taste. And this fruit picker can be used on pomegranates too. Although as you saw it's not that easy as compared to fruits like guavas. Which are much easier to pick. So this is a wonderful variety of pomegranate and it's a delicious variety. Moving on to our next harvest which is amaranth. We were harvesting leaves till now for the amaranth plant but now we are harvesting the entire amaranth plant as you can see here. And that is because the amaranth growing season is now complete. If you are harvesting amaranth for its leaves you can just pull out the plants. But if you want to wait for the seeds of the amaranth plant you can wait for a few plants to grow mature. And that way you can get the seeds and then save the seeds and plant a new set of amaranth plants next season. I have plenty of amaranth seeds for now. So I might still keep just one or two plants for seed production. But otherwise I'm going to be harvesting the whole plants and using the leaves as needed. And this amaranth is the red amaranth and it looks pretty good and is very delicious as well. The cucumber plants have slowly started dying and this is the final cucumber harvest after which we will be removing the cucumber plants. And as you can see here these cucumbers have grown very well and we have got an abundant harvest of cucumbers from this plant by growing it in just a small container. We got a lot of eggplants from our raised beds in October and usually Eggplants stop growing when the weather cools down. But we've been having a few hot days here in Southern California. And the eggplants and peppers are still producing very well this month. And we're going to be harvesting a few of these. Goads. Now goads also give a last 
harvest around this time around October and as you can see here we are harvesting the rich gourd which is a very delicious gourd by the way very healthy for you as well and this is going to be the last harvest for gourds that is this month October and after which we will have to remove the gourd plants as well because they will start dying once the weather cools down so most likely this is going to be the final round of harvest for our summer vegetables and then we'll move on to planting all our fall and winter crops from next month and now let's look at moringa our moringa tree grew very well this year and once again we were able to harvest a lot of pods now you can grow moringa for its pods in places like southern california where the weather is warm to hot and a few of you have asked me whether you can grow moringa for its pods in a place like northern california or the bay area and the answer is it's not very easy bay area and northern california have much lower temperatures so you might get lucky and you might be able to produce pods in your moringa plant but in general it's not very easy but i would highly recommend you do give it a shot and if you can grow moringa for its pods it's one of the best things you can do the pods are absolutely delicious when they are fresh they are extremely nutritious and moringa is a wonderful plant to grow in your home garden if you haven't started growing moringa already i would highly recommend that you start that right away moringa is a superfood its leaves are nutritious and its pods are absolutely nutritious and delicious so whether you're growing this plant in a container or in the ground this plant will produce a lot not only a lot of leaves but a lot of pods as well and it's very easy to grow you can see the pods here they are long slender and when they are fresh they taste very nice and it's very hard to buy fresh pods even in the grocery store so the best way to grow fresh moringa great quality moringa is it to grow it at home we also harvested a lot of okra this again would most likely be the final round of okra we are harvesting and this was in the whisky barrel container the nombo giant okra and this produced a lot of good pods as you can see here even in october it is still producing its last burst of okra pods and very delicious okra variety to grow and i did save some of the seeds for this okra variety so that i can continue planting this okra variety in the next season and as you can see here very good looking okra quite decently sized and the pods are very nice tasting and overall this plant was a pleasure to grow and then moving on to our pepper harvest so the first variety of peppers that we grew was an indian hot pepper variety and the seeds were given to me by one of my friends and this is a very hot kind pepper variety and the one thing unique about this plant is that the peppers that it produces are quite large in size quite thick and they are also very hot so very similar to the cayenne variety but this pepper was a little hotter than most common cayenne pepper varieties and we harvested a lot of poblano peppers as well as you can see here these poblano peppers are quite well sized peppers quite large in size and as i've mentioned earlier in my opinion poblano peppers have the best combination of heat and taste so if you haven't tried poblano peppers do give it a shot and if you haven't grown poblano peppers you might want to try growing it in your garden next season it's a great pepper variety to grow absolutely delicious in my opinion and if you let them go red they taste a little different and it's a great pepper variety overall now we looked at the santa fe grande peppers last a month where we were growing this plant and harvesting a lot of peppers and now these peppers have turned red and one of our youtube viewers mentioned and that was a very interesting comment by the way 
to wait till the peppers ripen that they turn red before you can harvest them and that way the flavor becomes very different very nice and according to that user it's the best flavor that you can get so i did wait this time and these are hot peppers and one more hot pepper that we grew was the dragon cayenne pepper it's a variety of cayenne pepper that's extremely hot and this i think in my opinion is the hottest cayenne pepper that i have grown and if you like hot peppers you should try out growing this variety of cayenne pepper the dragon cayenne is a hot cayenne pepper now let's look at what's growing in our garden this month we still have our amaranth bed intact and you saw in the harvest section of the video that we were harvesting these plants but these are growing strong and producing a lot of leaves that we can harvest we are also growing our citrus plants like the meyer lemon which is a great lemon variety by the way and also our dwarf mandarin which is called kishu this plant produces a lot of small a uh, delicious seedless mandarins and now moving on to our gourds we still have some of our gourds growing the bottle gourd plant is still growing and it's growing well the arabian guavas are growing in full strength and as we saw some harvests being made from this plant this plant produced very heavily this year and is one of the best growing plants in the garden along with the other fruit trees like the mexican guavas the mexican guavas are totally loaded with fruits and what amazes me about this guava plant is that it's about 5 to 6 foot in height and for the height of this plant it is absolutely loaded with guavas as you can see here in fact it's so loaded with fruits that the plant actually falls down almost uh, bends down when it's in full production strength so great guava variety to grow and they will start ripening around this month so it's time to start harvesting them as well moving on to our spinach the malabar spinach that we saw it's now producing seeds that can be saved and planted for the next season and the moringa plants are growing very well as well so it's producing a lot of leaves and it's also producing pods and i'm also trying to grow bananas in a container this time so as you can see here i've used whiskey barrel containers and the bananas are growing pretty well in the container we also have a tangerine tree the dancy tangerine that's producing a lot of tangerines now let's look at the things to do in your garden for this month the most important thing to do for this month is to prune and repot plants like roses for example it's important that you prune your roses very well and if you haven't transplanted your plants for about a year or so it is time to transplant your rose plants into a better container mix so what we're going to do first is to make the plant manageable we're going to prune the stems remove all the dead leaves and then make sure that the plant is ready for repotting and make sure you wear some protective gloves when you're handling the rose stems they can be quite thorny and the idea is to remove all the dead leaves dead stems make sure there are very less branches on the plant so that it becomes easier to handle them when you're doing your repotting process and repotting just involves taking the plant out of the container trimming the roots and then putting it back into the container with a little extra soil maybe a little more compost so that the plant can get all the nutrients it needs so as you can see here the root ball is quite large and this plant was getting severely root bound in this container so what we are doing here is trying to remove a little bit of soil around the root ball and then we're going to be trimming this you can put this in a bucket of water if that makes it easier you can even trim the roots by cutting them leaving a few roots with the plant and you can reuse some of the soil 
but I would highly recommend that you add some kind of organic material like compost, maybe some organic fertilizers that will help your plant grow. And I'm going to be just adding some more soil around the base of the plant once it's placed. And that way you can fill up the container, make sure the plant is all ready to go back. Hopefully this will give a lot of space for the roots of the plant to grow back. And as you can see here, this plant has grown back strong. It's also a good time to start seeds like onions. We are starting some onion seeds to fill in the gaps in our raised beds. And we are also planting some cabbage seeds. So you can plant all kinds of cool weather crops like cabbage, cauliflower, kohlrabi, spinach, beets, and almost any other cool season crop. You can start the seeds so that you can transplant them within about four to six weeks. And cabbages will grow through the winter season. They grow very well in cool weather. And starting seeds in a seed starting mix is the best way to start seeds. It's a sterile mix and will ensure that worms like cutworms won't destroy your seedlings. And I'm also going to be sowing some seeds directly into this container just because I don't have much space in the greenhouse. And we will see how this goes. And for those of you who got the curry leaf seeds in the mail from me, I hope you have planted them and your seedling should be of this size by now. And I'm just going to show you how to transplant them into slightly larger containers. So I'm using a good potting mix here and I'm transplanting these seedlings, the curry leaf seedlings into larger containers. And for those of you who are looking for the seeds, just drop in a comment with your address or contact me from the YouTube page, send me your address and I will send you some curry leaf seeds. So as you can see here, we are transplanting these into a slightly larger container. So I'm going to keep them inside this container which will make sure that they get enough water and then place them in the greenhouse so that they can grow for the rest of the season. So that was our video on the California garden in the month of October. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions on this video or any questions about gardening in general, do drop in a comment below. If you're not already a subscriber, do click on the subscribe button. And we'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.